What's up, y'all? It's Henry with the PSI Defense Channel coming to you with another video. Uh, last time when I was in the garage and I shot the blocks of ice, um, I used the Z-Rams in this T8.1. Um, the reason I did is because I had um, somewhat modified or actually fixed the breech in this one to shoot the uh, Z-Ram Z.68 rounds uh, without jamming. What I mean by that is, I took this barrel. Okay, right there. You see that silver part? Right there on both sides. Uh, the Z-Rams caught right there because there was a little edge where the barrel and the breech actually meet, where the way it was milled. And it the Z-Rams caught on the little edge, making a few little, small burrs. So what I had to do, you saw the silver part, I had to dremel the burrs off of both sides. I don't recommend doing that. You can take too much metal off. You can, um, I mean, it's just very delicate. And if you're not 100% confident in what you're doing, uh, you could just ruin your barrel. So uh, just be careful with the Z-Rams. Um, I will say that the Z-Ram 2.0s are coming out soon. Um, Daniel from Z-Ram is uh, redesigning his marker taking into account all of the issues we've been having um, he's also coming out with the all steel z barrel the problem with these bo these barrels is they're aluminum which isn't a problem with grimbergs or uh, h uh, ssd tins or um, brenda spencer's rounds that she makes daniel spencer's wife uh, any of those kind of rounds, aluminum barrel is absolutely fine for that. But we're talking about stainless steel barrels or stainless steel ammo with the Z-Rams going down aluminum barrels and the potential for damage is very high. So Z-Ram is coming out with a Z-Barrel uh, that is going to be matched with the Z.68 ammunition. So it works flawlessly. Um, that in combination with uh, a Comrie Tech a collaboration that they're doing so a Comrie Tech Z-Ram collaboration um, where they address the follower issue and it's going to be a 20 gram mag uh, it's very exciting stuff so uh, look look out for that stuff coming soon um, Z-Ram is definitely by no means done um, and we appreciate them adding to the less lethal community so moving on from there um, my T8.1 suffered some malfunctions it basically farted out all the air. It shot a couple shots. Really wasn't up to snuff. So I feel like I owe the Z-Ram um, uh, a more fair representation of what it would do to a block of ice. So taking my HPAT 8.1, taking the 14 inch barrel out, usually sticks out to about right here. And I'm taking my quote unquote Z-Ram modified barrel so that I can comfortably shoot my Z-Rams out of this. And I've got another block of ice that's actually slightly bigger. And here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and chrono to see what kind of numbers I'm getting. Um, I've only got about, yeah, just under 2,000 PSI left in this tank. Uh, so I, I wanna empty it anyways. So a lot of you guys have been asking me since I've been having uh, HPA, uh, featuring HPA. I personally prefer HPA outside in the winter when it's cold. I really like HPA in a lot of uh, my larger, uh, either carbine or SMG or my rifle, like my um, VKS. I like HPA because it's more consistent power. Um, as long as your tank is holding pressure, uh, that you typically uh, don't have to fiddle a lot with them to charge your marker. And a lot of you have been asking, okay, how do you fill your tanks? Okay, there's three ways to fill your tanks. You can either get uh, a manual hand pump, which takes forever. Uh, they're great because they don't take any electricity. They take manpower, but they also take a lot of time. Um, what you wanna do with those is long, steady strokes because it pumps, full, it pumps in air on the in and the out stroke. No matter which kind of method you're using to, for your HPA tanks, make sure you get a uh, moisture trap. Very important. Moisture inside of your tanks will destroy them um, prematurely. Uh, then you can get your own um, HPA compressor. Um, those are relatively expensive. 
you can get cheaper Chinese models for under $250. Um, to me, that's expensive. Uh, but I will end up eventually end up getting my own compressor um, and you can spend $250 anywhere up to five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars or thirteen hundred dollars depending on what kind of compressor you get and what your needs are. Um, and then what you can do what I do if you have uh, a facility uh, near your house, I have a local paintball field which is about 10 minutes away. Um, they charge uh, they used to charge four dollars a tank, you know, inflation on everything. So they went up to five dollars a tank. But I bring a bag of tanks in there, fill them all up. A lot of times, you know, they they uh, don't charge me the full rate, you know, because they see me all the time. I'm always in there filling tanks. Um, but that's how I fill my tanks. Um, you guys saw in my last video where I tested CO2 and cold, and you saw a tremendous uh, FPS drop, power drop. Uh, when it's cold outside, a lot of you are talking about nitrogen, um, CO2, or nitrogen containers in lieu of CO2. Um, just be aware that you will not get the same amount of um, power as you get with uh, CO2. Uh, don't expect to have similar power numbers. You're, you're going to have a substantial drop. Um, I will be doing a video, um, uh, Junior Vasquez of Less Lethal 777. YouTube channel, did a video on that. He got some pretty impressive numbers, but he used a 16 gram CO2 cart with a 16 gram Comutech mag. So I would recommend that you don't go anything lower than 16 gram because uh, the simple fact of the matter is um, you don't have as much volume inside a 12 gram of nitrogen that you do in a 12 gram CO2. The reason why there's so much volume, uh, so much more volume and power in CO2 is because it compresses and when it compresses, it turns into a gas, uh, a liquid, and um, it, there's science behind that. So, there's, from liquid to a gas, uh, it's a tremendous uh, expansion, which gives us a lot more power, a lot more psi, um, and is why uh, it's superior. But um, like I said, I did order some CO2, I did order some nitrous, some 16 gram nitrous. So I'll be testing that in my Comrotech mags um, here soon. So without further ado, I'm going to take my Z-Rams. So without further ado, let's go ahead and add to the garage. So I am using the Z-Ram pointing upwards, and that allowed me to get seven shots in there, which is pretty good. So here we go, loading up. I gave it a couple turns on the velocity screw, really just a half a turn. There we go. That's what I'm after. All right, here we go. This is a very large block of ice, bigger than the last one. There's my hand.
And here we go. This is what happens. Seven shots of Z-Ram. Z68. It makes snow cones just like the others. Look at that massive chunk of ice there. All right. So spin this around. Probably hit it up here where it's not as compromised with the FSC using the Comitech 16 gram mags and eight joules. So here's what we did with our Jewel V2s from the FSC. Now I will tell you guys, this block of ice is a lot more solid than the last one I was shooting at because the last one was out in above freezing temperatures for quite a while. So it was a little softer. This one is a lot bigger than the other square one I had. So uh, you saw what the Z-Rams did. It took a really nice chunk out of it. This is what the FSC did with the Jewel V2s. But now I gotta stop playing around. Mm -hmm. VKS, baby.
Uh, yeah, so there you go. Really no substitute for the VKS. That's the lightest round I shot today, the HP 68, 7.8 grams. The ZRAM is 7.5, uh, I'm sorry, 8.5 grams, and the Jewel V2s are 8 grams. So the lightest round did all that. VKS. You know why it costs $1,300? Because it's worth it. Yeah, look how solid this is. Yeah, that's carnage. All right, cleaning up this ice. Let me show you guys something. Look how solid this is. This is a big old chunk of this ice. Yeah, it didn't shatter. Barely broke up. All right, y'all. That's it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this snow cone mess before my wife comes home from work so she can park. But you see it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe for me, Smash that notification bell so you can see whenever I put out more hot videos for y'all. All right, I appreciate everything y'all do. Hopefully y'all appreciate everything I do. That's enough for today. Take care of yourselves and each other. Stay blessed.